A very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. This is the Tuesday night edition of the show. Promises to be exciting, fun field as always. And I can also tell you that we have quite a lot uh, loaded for you um, into the package that we've put together uh, for you this Thursday. There is a lot to talk about, a lot to uh, review uh, on the program tonight. Just a couple of minutes ago, we had the conclusion of matches of the 2015 Africa Cup of Nations Group C. And uh, now we know the two teams going to the next round, and we know the two teams that will be going home. We'll talk about it extensively, of course, in the next um, couple of minutes. And as we speak right now, second leg, uh, semi-final match, Capital One Cup is going on at the Stamford Bridge. Chelsea against Liverpool, still about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes played in that game. We will also be giving you updates around that game um, as we go on on sports tonight, um, this Tuesday. On the show tonight, later on, Yemi Adebayo, Cosmos Chukwemeka will be joining me. We'll be taking a look at Australia Open. We'll be finding out what's going on um, at the Grand Slam, the first Grand Slam of the year. Um, of course, the big story today has got to be Rafael Nadal crashing out. We'll talk about the men, we'll talk about the women. Um, of course, um, as we go along um, on sports tonight. So get ready uh, to be a part of that as well. Of course, we won't um, be complete without spending quality time to take a look at the state of football in Nigeria. And we'll also spend quality time uh, to reflect on the Glow Super 6. Tomorrow, the six teams will be back on the pitch. What is up? Who is up against who? We'll give you all of that later on um, as well um, on the show uh, tonight. And of course, we'll look into the league. And today we'll talk about Gabros International of Unnewi. Yesterday we spoke about Atland unveiling a new coach. Gabros have also unveiled a new coach, a foreign coach. And uh, that's something that you'll also find um, on Sports Tonight. If you stay with us all through, you'll get all the details uh, of all of that and more um, on Sports Tonight this Tuesday. Without wasting any more time, let me quickly introduce to you my partners on the program tonight. Um, Tunde Koiki. Um, regular on the show, content specialist uh, with Complete Sports and um, is with us uh, once again on, on Sports Tonight. Tunde, uh, good to have you join us on, on, on Sports Tonight today. About 15 minutes played in that Capital One game. Yeah, well, Any good yeah. news to report from well, your perspective? Well, uh, no, none so far. The good news is that Liverpool are leading 3-0. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Still goalless? Still goalless. Mm. Uh, plenty to play for. But mm. it remains 1-1 after 90 minutes uh, or tied on more or 2-2 two -two, or ends 1-1. Uh, again, in this second leg, that is 2 to an aggregate after 120 minutes. They go to penalties. Good penalties. Mm. All right, but if it's goalless at the end of 90 minutes and goalless at the end of 120 minutes, Chelsea will go through um, on the away goals. All right, that's how it works uh, with, with Capital One. All right, and then, um, of course, uh, Doom Nadio Konta is also on the show tonight. Doom, there's plenty to talk about tomorrow. Uh, who will be up for lunch? Uh, who will be facing the Flying Eagles? That's the thing everybody dreads. Uh, at the Super 6, Doom Nadi, um, and of course, um, Newi, something good is happening. Yes. Mm. You have all the details for us? Of course. Mm. All right, so Doom Nadi will also be serving us all of that as well uh, on the show tonight. But gentlemen, we have to start the show on, on a very sober note. We started the show on that note yesterday, but it's gone from bad, it's gone to worse. Oh, okay, maybe from worse to the worst um, that could ever happen. Irredeemable. Irredeemable, at last. Um, inevitable. Inevitable has happened to Wilfred Agbonabare. Uh, the story is that Wilfred has passed on. He lost this battle to cancer. Um, our dear Wilfred is gone. All right, so we've lost him. That's the start story coming through, gentlemen. Um, we thought we were going to be able to salvage this situation, but so sad, Wilfred has left us. Well, um, it's, it's, really, it's a really sad story. Um, it, it, we've been talking about this for the past two weeks now, hoping that um, some kind of I don't know, some kind of last minute miracle mm. might happen, but cancer being what it is, uh, it, it's almost incredible. Very few people you ever see walk the away. Terminal, from, terminal. Yeah, very few you ever see walk away from uh, having survived the bout of cancer, whatever mm. kind of cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer, testicular cancer, what kind of cancer. Um, and I think the writing was more or less on the wall the moment he was discharged from the US hospital and I'm flown to back Spain. to Spain. There, could, there could only be three outcomes. One, it was inevitable that he was going to pass on, or he was just waiting for the time mm. for, for, uh, for his time to be up and grand friends and family while he passes on. Two, maybe the hospital found out they, uh, that they could not handle the situation and decided to refer him to, uh, to, to another hospital, possibly in Spain, which was 
you know, not in the realm of possibility. Mm. So uh, I think the writing was more or less on the wall when, when the moment he was discharged from the U.S. hospital and, uh, and flown back home. It's really sad. Mm. Um, I wish we could have done more for him. Uh, and we will always continue to pry, press and f uh, fight that some kind of resolution can come mm. to, uh, a solution to can come for cancer. Mm. All right, so that's the sad story. We've lost Wilfred Agbonabari. Uh, we lost him to cancer. We thought we were going to be able to salvage something, but it has not worked 